this was like back in shit, 20, 2015 or something. Um, my brother was living in San Diego at the time and he was a financial advisor and he was just fucking miserable. He didn't like his job. And he just called me one day and was like, yo, like, I hate my fucking job. Like, we should make cartoons. And I was basically just like, bet, let's do it. Because I had talked about it at one point. A couple of my other brothers had talked about it at one point. And, like, that's my spirit, man. Like, you you throw something fun at me. Like, let's go after it. Let's go try it. Because before that, I was actually doing music. My brother, uh, he was uh, rapping and I was making beats. So we were, like, releasing albums together all the time. So I've always been in that creative spirit, just chase after the dreams. And then he said, let's make cartoons. I was like, fuck it, let's go. Um, so we just like taught ourselves how to do it all, taught ourselves how to animate, how to write, draw the characters, all that shit. And when we first got started, I couldn't draw at all. Like people always tell me, they're like, man, you got God given talent to draw. Like you're so lucky. I'm like, nah, man, you should have seen my drawings at the beginning. Like I used to sit there for <laughs> hours and watch YouTube videos on how to draw cartoon characters. And this was never, I was like 20, 21 at the time. So I was starting from nothing. And if you, if you watch the first videos we ever made, if, Anybody wants to see, you can search The Lounge on YouTube, mm -hmm. The Lounge Cartoon. It's fucking trash. But that was the <laughs> first that we ever made. But, I mean, it was good enough to, to where Comedy Central found it. Like, we made, we made that show, and we put out – we were putting out two episodes a week at that time, and Comedy Central found it. We're like, yo, you guys have mad potential. We like what you all are doing. Let's meet. So we flew out to L.A. and met with Comedy Central. They liked us, and then we signed a deal with them and developed the show for two years. But the show didn't make it to television. Uh, we just did like 20 shorts with them online through their through their website. And then we took a, a pitch meeting with them to try to get the show on TV. And we fucking bombed our pitch as bad as you can bomb a pitch. <laughs> and do it. So that, that's, that's that story. And then after we blew that pitch, we were like, fuck, like, what do we do now? Like, we still want to make cartoons. And this was in like, I think 2018 at this point. So then we just came up with an idea like, all right, we got to go start making content again, go online, put it wherever we can, get our following up, get our buzz up so that we can at least get meetings again. Because nobody would even take a meeting with us. We didn't have an agent. We didn't have a manager. Nobody was rocking with us. So that's when we launched the NBA cartoon was in 2018. And we did it for the 2018, 2019 NBA season. And back then we were only releasing like one episode a week at that point. And it was like a minute long. Um, and we were partnered up with Ball's Life at the time. So we grew our following decently over the course of that NBA season. I think we hit like 55,000 followers over the course of that NBA season. Wow. Crazy, but we were doing decent numbers. We had a little bit of a following. So then people started to take meetings with us again. So we took a step back from the NBA cartoons again. And we're like, because to be honest, like our, our, our goal the entire time and our dream was we want to sell a TV show and have a show on on TV, like we would be like Seth MacFarlane, Trey Parker, Matt Groening, like all these people. So we took a break from the NBA cartoon for like, shit, almost two years where we were just making original shows, putting together treatments, pilots, taking pitches with all these networks. And we, we shopped a bunch of shows for like two years and the networks still, they, they were not fucking with us. <laughs> so in October of 2022, my brothers and I finally said, man, fuck all this. Like, fuck the networks, fuck the studios, fuck the production companies. We're not taking any meetings again for till further notice. No more meetings. If anyone calls us, don't answer it. If they email us, don't answer it. We're not reaching out. Fuck them all. And we got really, really serious about being independent. And so from then on out, from October 2022 up until today, um, we just fucking completely exploded. We went, we started doing the NBA cartoon again. We did the NFL cartoon and we're releasing five to seven episodes a week. We gained over 800,000 followers since then, um, doing like 8 million views a week. And what's funny is now a lot of these people are starting to come back to us now and are like, Hey, we'd love to hear what y'all have going on. Like what's new with you guys? It's like, I mean, where was that energy fucking a year and a half ago whenever I was pitching y'all shit, but you know, we'll take their meetings. We'll listen, see if they got, got a little bag for us, but yeah, we're we're talking to a couple of people right now, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, we'll drop the announcements if if everything works out, and if it doesn't, like we're not tripping on any of it, man. Like fuck it at this point, we're doing great without them. <laughs>